guess what? I've been sent another product by our friends over at Rav Power once again. And um, to be honest, I'm not really a big um, technophobe gadget geek. <laughs> so there's um, a lot of things that this does that I don't fully understand. But um, after spending um, a bit of time with it, um, it sort of um, dawned on me like a blinding flash of Eureka moment. Um, let's go over that in a minute, but in the meantime, this is the, uh, the gadget here, what it looks like. It's currently on and it's uh, hooked up to my um, smartphone. That's all of the, um, the connectivity range there. SD card and the USB. Very small, it doesn't weigh much. And it hooks up real easy to your phone. Oh, look at that, another text. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> so, yeah. And I actually tested this when I was at work in my lunch break. I went over to the woods and I stood this on the tree about um, head height um, on the Y branch. And I just continued to walk and walk and walk. And I got pretty much to the other side of the woodland where I'm based at work. And that's roughly 300 meters. And the signal strength was still showing fair. Which I thought was pretty cool because it's summertime in the moment and it, in the, um, the woodland is pretty greened up, it's pretty dense. So I'm not sure what its maximum um, would be on open ground, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna to have to test it, I guess, um, see how far the Wi-Fi connection is between these two. So let's give you an overview of the idea that I have that I can use with this. Right, I checked this device out in local woodlands and it went about 300 meters. So we're gonna go with that as a base point. I'm pretty confident I can go a lot further than that. How much further, I really can't say until I test it myself on some bigger woodland really. So let's get down to the idea. The only thing that I think immediately that this could be useful to me without understanding all of the other weird and wonderful things it can do is a reconnaissance device. Now, Hypothetically speaking, this is an idea. Whether it could work in reality, it remains unknown until you actually try it. But the idea that I thought I could use this is, to say for argument's sake, you wanted to get some information on an area of interest um, to you and your mates. Whether it be um, some part of vehicles, um, a remote building, um, a camp, something like that, that you wanted to find out what's going on there so you can then decide what you're gonna do about it. So for this instance, we're gonna just do a standard all-round defense patrol camp. So you've got four bashes there, probably four guys, could be eight guys, they could be buddy-buddy system, you just don't know. You wanna see um, what weaponry really they've got, what supplies they've got, etc 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 so you're interested in what they've got so bearing in mind we're going to use that 300 meter range as a guide as i say it can go further but how further i don't know so 300 meters away you've got your guy with this device here do a nice little wi-fi logo there so this can stream live footage to five other devices five other devices, right, okay. One, two, three, four, five people with a smartphone and they're all hooked up to this device like this. So, this is what's going on. These guys with these five smartphones are videoing live what they can see in front of them with their arcs there, like that. So you have got pretty much all of this area covered by these five guys. This guy here, with this device, has an external hard disk drive plugged into this via the USB there. Theoretically, 
this guy with this device with the hard disk drive can send information to all of these people simultaneously the can... see the information and they can reply back all of them can reply back to this guy so reality this guy is seeing five live images of what's going on there on his um, laptop screen or iPad or whatever he can then wirelessly sends this information to another guy that's got a Wi-Fi device back to him. He can then send it another distance again to another Wi-Fi device and so on and so forth. Or if you don't want to do that, you can have another guy here. As soon as you've got the required information from these guys, he can take the SD card out from here that it's just recorded the information on, give it to this guy, and this guy can bug out back to, say, an FOB, say here, forward operating base. He can give all the information back to this guy. He can then decide what's going to happen with it. And he can then send a signal back to this guy, telling all these guys to covertly retreat the locations. So they can all withdraw. They've done their bit, and these guys, providing these guys have done their jobs correctly, will have no idea they were observed. And now this guy has got all the information he needs for what to do with this area here. And also, um, another feature that this device can do, it's um, a portable 3000 milliamp battery pack. So you're at home or you can be anywhere really, as long as you can charge it via USB. You can use your solar panels, anything you like you can think of that can power this up to charge it up. Once it's charged, it can turn off, no problem at all, sorted. And you can stow it away and just use it to charge up your phone or any other device that connects via a USB, charge it back up. So it's a portable battery pack as well as the little, um, the recce communications idea. Right, that's as much as I know about this device. Um, you can see on the screen there other things that it does. Um, hotspots and it does live web links and things. As I say, this is, this is over my head now. Um, all you technophobes and gadget guys would probably be jumping up and down saying, oh yeah, I know what that can do. That can be a good idea for this, that and whatever. But if you want to pause the screen to read um, what I'm showing you, then go for it, otherwise it'll be all day just holding it up in front of the screen. So yeah, as I say, this, this, is, this stuff's really over my nut now. <laughs> um, I think I've done quite well understanding what it's capable of until now, really. So um, that's basically it. All of the specs, you guys like your specs. Sorry for the shadow there, we've got light behind the bloody viewfinder, can't get away with that, I'm sorry. But yeah, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. So, there it is. Let me know what you think. It comes in a cool box, USB lead. There it is there, in real time. So for the money, I think, just for that idea alone, for um, a, a reconnaissance, um, intel gathering, on a budget, piece of equipment really. I mean, yeah, the military use um, similar ideas. Um, obviously their gear is going to be so much more advanced and more expensive. They're going to have um, you know, secure lines and all sorts. But for a budget idea, if shit ever hit the fan, this could be very, very useful indeed. Most things these days are powered up and charged via USB leads. Universal serial bus means it really is universal, man. You can use that on so many devices. You can't really lose, to be honest. So there I have it. One of the latest um, gadget designs out by Rav Power. Thanks for watching guys, 
Stay funky.